So our instructional model um, is consistent in all of our courses, which is the legacy instructional design model, and it's two challenges and a capstone. So that capstone is is the real like capture of learning. Like a student has to demonstrate knowledge transfer or some kind of meta or some kind of knowledge building without all the scaffolding that had gone along in the course prior to it. And what the senior portfolio is, is sort of the capstone of capstones, right? So now you've been through our learning model over and over and over again, and now we're gonna ask you to actually execute it. So senior portfolio is like a, it's like a class where it's worth two credits. And it's like a project, it's like your final project, and you have to meet certain standards to get those two credits. It's actually the hardest credit. It's the hardest course to do, because right now I'm assessing myself. Like I'm basically building a rubric for myself and I have to use objective language to actually get the rubric done. So it's hard to do because it's like I've never written in objective language or you understand? So I have to make a rubric, like if I'm a teacher, if I'm my own teacher, so like that part is hard. But um, me, for me, I'm making a, I have two ELA credits, so I'm pretty open to making whatever I want. I'm making a magazine about fashion and like how fashion is perceived in different countries. So you go out and you find a mentor um, that helps you work through your specific project. So it's, it's based on the interests of the student, but it's asking them to identify their own competencies, create their own rubrics, create their own course, put themselves through it, do all the research, and then present about it um, at the end. And it's sort of the, one of the final pieces before, before you leave us. But if you can do that, you can get through a college class.